welcome, one and all, for what promises to be a regular Blood Bowl bruiser. So lock up the wife and kids, take a six-pack out of the fridge, and settle down into your favorite chair for some feisty entertainment. A true sport for true men. When a guy goes down in Blood Bowl, you don't expect him to be getting back up. And look who's stepping onto the pitch. Wow! A veritable Blood Bowl legend. And what am I, then? A venerable Blood Bowl legend. Mm. The ball goes skywards, and the match is on! children don't try and do this at home remember these are seasoned professionals well one of them is anyway he may be a star but he hit the deck just like any other player wizards have not always been able to cast spells safely from behind the sidelines were you playing at the time in an Albion League, a second division that prohibited spellcasting from off the pitch? Oh, yes. They were great times. I remember fans traveling to games just to see how well Wizards stood up to the mad charge of a raving Blood Bowl star. The noise created by a sizzling fireball, followed by the characteristic sound of the snap of a wizard's neck. He sent him down for a chat with the Astro Granite. Instant stun! What a sissy! That one can't hold the ground! Well, that's one with a good reason to go see the Apothecary. Yep, looks like he's gonna need a good one. one that won't be coming back in a hurry. The Blood Bowl annals are littered with the stories of teams who've gone bust with crippling debts. And with the cost of doping and bribery on the rise, the problem won't be going away. Just 
look at the fans. They're red hot. A majority of supporters reckon that the league should take measures to prevent the small minority of peaceful fans from watching a match from the terraces. They've got a point. If they don't want to join in the fun, they might as well stay home and watch it on cable vision. Down and eat the dust. It's good for you. knocked his teeth down his throat. Yes, Jim. That's never a nice sight. physical as this, the player is really in the right place. Exactly. It's really ugly. That pass was well off the mark. Somebody should check on which changing room he came out of. I've heard of teams that have simply disappeared after being abandoned by their supporters. Let's say that some teams who haven't won a match for several years have been tied up by their fans and thrown into rubbish containers. It's the only way to end a downward spiral. open the slapping box and gives rather generously. Blood Bowl is reputedly the toughest of all sports. Ah, uh, so they say. But it really only comes down to taking a few hits. I don't know if he really liked that uppercut. He may not have liked it, but he certainly ate it.
Nice left punch. Right on the nose. Sure was, Jim. It's broken now. <laughs> A recent medical report stated that cerebral hemorrhages were less frequent in blood bone players. Amazing when you come thinking. Not really, when you consider that brains are also less frequent. It's a great spectacle, Bob. You think you'll be able to get up after that blow, Jim? Oh, yes. He's not the sort to stay down. Nurgle! 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 Why are Nurgle teams always so popular, Bob? Because all their fans are infected, Jim. <laughs> As soon as he throws his first punch. We know the opponent will be out for lunch. Here, here we go, Nurgle style again, Bob. Who can argue with some high-quality infectious foul play, Jim? Indeed, Bob. Sure is funny to see the opposition trying to stay healthy when they play against a Nurgle team. That's true, Jim. I think we're lucky commentating and watching the game from afar, Jim. You can't say much about that. Full-blooded, but perfectly legal. can get their game going again.
Did you know that the Galadriel Gladiators won the Blood Bowl in 2470 and were always the top contenders thanks to the best Elven Blitzer to grace the pitch? Oh, yeah, Jim. Everyone remembers when Lucian, the Silver Bullet Swift, played for the Gladiators. That was before the NAF collapsed. However, after the collapse, he went on his own and formed the Kalahir Swifts in 2501. Yeah, Jim, the Gladiators sure lost a good blitzer. But it's just a matter of time before the richest team in Blood Bowl lures in another star for their roster. It seems this player does all the talking with the fists. And they clearly know how to get heard. The referee's guild has decided to hire a bodyguard for each game. Another brilliant idea. And just how effective will one bodyguard be against a stadium full of supporters? True. Could be a bit one-sided. That reminds me of when I took Griff to bits in the 91 final against Reitland. Oh, yeah. You kneecapped him. This player was really strong. Do you think they have some troll blood in them? Mm, could be. Or maybe his opponent shouldn't speak that way about the family. They're not far from the line now. Smells like a touchdown. Like there was some bad blood between those two, eh, Bob? Yeah, Jim. Something to do with swapped body parts. There was a time when the Colleges of Magic hadn't yet ruled on limiting wizard assistance to teams. Who could forget the infamous 2472 Quagmire incident when rampant spellcasting caused the entire Bright Crusader Stadium to sink into the earth? Nobody could forget that. People were blinded for miles around the stadium. was worthy of a black hawk. You're telling me it'll take a while to get over it. I bet that hurt. Good job his nose got in the way. Yeah, otherwise he'd have got it full in the face. What style, what perfection. What a hammer blow. Did 
you hear about the evil Gits, the team that is made up of a mix of evil players? Their fans won the most evil supporters of the year award. Fully merited from what I've seen. Baby gets his medicine and he's having a little nap. Star player has taken a sudden interest in the state of the pitch. Well, someone will be taking a sudden interest in his head if he doesn't come round pretty quickly. The high elf throwers are said to be the best throwers to grace the Blood Bowl pitch. Apparently, they start at a very early age, as young as 70 years old. So, how come it takes them so long to become a full fledged Blood Bowl player? Well, Jim, to successfully pass their trials, they must perfect their hairdos. <laughs> ah, that explains why so many of them never make it to the big game. Oh, brilliant sidekick to the face. Let's see that again in slow motion. They can start to move forward. It was with a catch like that. That doesn't make us feel any younger. Okay, it's half time. No doubt the players will be great for the rest. And the supporter is glad for the opportunity to rebuild their stocks of missiles. Who's marked Blood Bowl history? Maybe, but I can remember marking his face with my studs. <laughs> That's it, the ball's in play. There's gonna be trouble. Corruption so widespread that the Referees Guild has set up rules concerning where, when, and how one can accept a bribe. Under an agreement signed last season, clubs are not allowed to offer less than the going rate.
there's one that lets his biceps do the talking. Yeah, but from his opponent's point of view, it was a short conversation. Incoming! Well, it is a violent sport. Today's insight comes from Heine Schnibbel, coach and owner of the Goblin Lowdown Rats team. In yesterday's Spike magazine, he said that Blood Bowl was like war. No winners, just survivors. Oh, that's deep. About as deep as his team's position in the rankings. That's what happens when a pro crosses an amateur. Yes, splodge. Ouch! Oh, he's knocked him senseless. You're assuming, then, that he had something between his ears to begin with. I think he's singing him a lullaby. If it wasn't for the blood flowing from his nose and mouth, you'd swear he was having a rest. We don't see much of the Heroes of Law these days. No, I don't know. For any spectators who aren't aware, the Heroes of Law hope to show the world a better way by honest, strategic play on the pitch. It's probably a good thing we don't see them. in the face, and then followed by a clean uppercut. Well done! Doping is really endemic in this sport. Isn't it written into the game rules? Don't forget, children, don't try and do this at home. Remember, these are seasoned professionals. Well, one of them is anyway. <laughs> this player has opened the slapping box and gives rather generously. This 
last player was really strong. Do you think they have some troll blood in them? Mm, could be. Or maybe his opponent shouldn't speak that way about the family. I can tell you straight, that hurts. Every now and again, Blood Bowl throws up a real mixed bag of a team. Like the Motley Horde, that's made up of a bunch of misfits. Yeah, can't be easy to coach those cast-offs every day of the week. Reminds me of when I took drift to bits in the 91 final against Reitland. Oh, yeah. You kneecapped him. Look, Bob, they are almost too proud to get their outfits dirty. Still, they achieve the impossible at times, Jim. What's so difficult throwing a ball? I want to see more action! Did you know the Nurgle Rotters went missing in the Sea of Ice in 88? That's right, Bob. They drifted for years. All the players frozen stiff in huge blocks of ice. Until some local fishermen boarded the vessel and brought it southward. Once defrosted, they were quickly back in business. That's right, Bob. By the time the boat arrived back to shore, the crew had become devoted fans, and the ship's cat transformed into a beast of Nurgle. It looks like nothing can stop the Nurgle's Rotters.
That's what happens when a pro crosses an amateur. Yes, splodge. Remember that commercial Blood Bowl fans right to boot, Bob? Oh, yeah, what a great commercial, Jim. That elevated the Dragon Prince's popularity back in the early days. Right, Jim. At least that's one high elf team who knows how to play proper Blood Bowl. knocked his teeth down his throat. Yes, Jim. That's never a nice sight. some bad blood between those two, eh, Bob? Yeah, Jim. Something to do with swapped body parts. Ew, slime balls, diseases, rotting flesh. To some, it's a beautiful sight, Bob. Don't forget the smell, Jim. Oh, really? Thanks for reminding me. I didn't notice that pungent, acrid stench of death and bile. God, there. That hurt. Good job his nose got in the way. Yeah, otherwise he'd have got it full in the face. Oh, brilliant sidekick to the face. Let's see that again in slow motion. Did you know one of the most unsportsmanlike Nurgle teams out there is the Decayed Renegade? Oh yeah, Jim. And they have a large appetite for foul play. Let's hope for some of that action today, Bob. <laughs> Indeed, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Things are hotting up. Oh, yes. We'll see if the opposition has got an answer. Coach must have dug deep to find the money to hire this star player. They better win, or the fans will be digging deep to bury him.
Good recovery. Look over there. Some cute little elf beauties are selling big moot sandwiches in the stands. Hey, I'm off to get one. I'll be back in five minutes. And so now you like big moot sandwiches? That's no way. A little elf beauty? Yeah. Yep, upside down. That's one way to look at things. That's one regulation clobbering. That player's seen stars now. Funny for someone that wasn't really that bright. <laughs> He's launched that ball way up high. It will be just a small step for the player. <laughs> Keep for the team. Yes, that's a step in the right direction. Yes, every touchdown helps. There was a time when the Colleges of Magic hadn't yet ruled on limiting wizard assistance to teams. Who could forget the infamous 2472 Quagmire incident, when rampant spellcasting caused the entire Bright Crusader Stadium to sink into the earth? Nobody could forget that. People were blinded for miles around the stadium. And they're off! There's one that lets his biceps do the talking. Yeah, but from his opponent's point of view, it was a short conversation. I think he's singing him a lullaby. What finish, what style, what perfection. What a hammer blow. Yes! It's a great spectacle, Bob! A recent medical report stated that cerebral hemorrhages were less frequent in Blood Bowl players. Amazing when you come to think of it. Not really, when you consider that brains are also less frequent. Missed! The ball bounced everywhere! I was told that you can find round balls. Much less fun. Sleep. Little baby gets his medicine and he's having a little nap.
There was a little between the two sides. As the score shows. I think I'll buy the crystal ball of this game and watch it over and over again. Yes, you won't see much better than that. If those big brutes have any intelligence, they'll learn from this defeat that sheer power is not always the key. Too true. If they concentrated more on getting the ball than getting the man, it would be a step in the right direction. The stats tell the story of the game. They had most of the ball, but they just couldn't make it count in terms of touchdowns. They defended high up, keeping the opposition to their half of the field. Blood Bowl just ain't what it used to be. Nobody dope to the eyeballs. It's just not entertainment. Was the ref watching the same match as us? I mean, I saw several incidents that merited a sending off. Perhaps he was enjoying the spectacle. 